Uh, new numbers showing inflation impacts women more than men. A recently, uh, a recently released study suggests 59% of women worry about their finances at least once a week. A whopping 43% actively worry about money at least once a day. Financial journalist Bethany McLean is joining me uh, live right now from Chicago to talk about how it is impacting women harder than men. So, Bethany, I, I guess my question would be, first, there's this new term called she-session. What is that? So what that refers to is the fact that most women lost jobs at a disproportionate rate in the pandemic relative to men. And a large part of the problem was that when women already uh, women where both families worked already, the woman did 50% more of the childcare. And when the pandemic hit, women disproportionately had to leave the workforce in order to take care of children and have not yet returned. So the idea is that even before inflation set in, women were suffering disproportionately from the job losses in the pandemic. Part of that also is that women held a great, uh, the majority of the low paid service jobs that were disproportionately lost in the pandemic. So you have this idea that although the pandemic hit everybody, terribly. Um, it's, it hit women economically harder than it did men. The numbers by financial management company Elevest uh, show women's financial health is at a five-year low. So what does that mean exactly? Or is it that women are worrying more about their money more now today than ever? Well, it's both at the same time, right? Finance, money is stress as well. So there's an argument that because women do the bulk of the grocery shopping for their families, women are the first to feel the impact, to feel emotionally the impact of rising prices because they have to deal with it in the grocery store. And because women do the bulk of the grocery shopping, they're the ones scrounging and saving to try to figure out coupons, how to get, how to get, um, how to get staples for, for less money. So there's the stress aspect of it. But then there's this very very real aspect of it too, which is that women, um, and I don't mean to say the stress isn't real, but then there's this dollars and cents aspect to it too, which is that women are the ones who make up the bulk of the a low wage workforce in this country. And so a, a dollar goes less far. Women are more likely to, to feel the pain of inflation. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.